15 is all about your equipment. So the hardest part is assembling all the material that you'll need. So get a list of all the equipment that you have, including model numbers, serial numbers, as many owner's manuals as you can find, and the internet. And you should be able to complete this section in a day if you don't have too many pieces of equipment to present the requirements for. Because remember, you don't have to present the procedures by which you're going to handle your equipment, just the requirements. And a lot of times those are fastest for you to complete and fastest for somebody to review your QAPP if they're in a table form. So what you're going to be thinking about is thinking through your schedule, what needs to happen? What about new supplies as they come in? Who is going to sign for them? Who is going to inspect them if you have, for example, filters or sample containers that need to be verified actually will suit the requirements of your program, which remember is all geared towards making the data that you gather be able to answer the questions you have about your environment. Keep in mind that everything you reference has to be attached to your SOP. So in general, it's easy to make an instrument manual or even a chapter or an excerpt from an instrument manual into an attachment. You can scan it. I recommend not naming your attachments like attachment A, B, C, but instead naming them according to their names, whatever makes sense, because then you can attach them in any order and then they're easier to find and understand when you put your whole QAPP package together. You want to be as specific as possible, so if you have an instrument manual that's up to date and that fits your exact model, then reference the page numbers, especially if it's something that you're going to be referring to again and again, at least during the, maybe the training phase of a new technician, which is everybody's dream, right, to get a field technician. So do you have SOPs? If you have SOPs, even if it's a photocopied page from the owner's manual that lays out exactly the steps that you're going to do, that has to be attached as an appendix. So try to have your table refer to these owner's manuals. If you download stuff from the internet, you need to say what the URL was and when you accessed it so that people can reconstruct and perhaps you ultimately are going to have a program where people who come after you are still going to be using this piece of equipment after it's outdated. So having this all in one place is super, super useful to people who may be helping you or work with this equipment in the future. So think about everything that you're going to do step by step and lay it out in a table and then in a few sentences refer to the table. You may want to have a table for incoming supplies if it, that's something that you have to have in your program. You may want to have a table for inspection and maintenance and repair of each piece of equipment. You may want to have a list of the vendors where you get your instruments repaired or recalibrated because having that all in one place is going to be super useful.